today to show future generations of Hatchington a glimpse of how we lived in the present day. The objects placed in this time capsule will be discovered by children of the future. When Calamero suggested this marvelous idea, I loved it immediately. All right, children, time to put your objects in the capsule. It's a plant sample with real seeds. The children of the future will be able to grow the same flowers as us. What a wonderful idea, Priscilla. Here's my wind-up car. Excellent choice, Clement. Here's our mega report on Hatchington. So people in the future can see what the town used to look like. Well done, children. Isn't this wonderful, Mr. Mayor? Um, yes, of course. Uh, please, go on. Thank you, children. What about me? Don't I get to put a thingy in the time thingy? Oh, you're right, Piero. Uh... Here's the score. I'm too big to have a teddy bear now, so I'm sending Teddy to meet the children of the future. It'll be a breath of fresh air. Are you absolutely sure, Piero? Uh, well, yeah, 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 of course I am. Well, then, thank you, Piero. Come on, come on, Chop Chop. Goodbye, my faithful Teddy. Have a safe journey through time. Look, and... my watch has stopped. And now it's my turn. The people who open the capsule will know who the generous contributors were. Your turn, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> Mr. Mayor? <coughs> yes, Camilla. Now it's time to bury this time capsule for the ages. A magnificent testament to our time. Jojo, Pilou, step to it. I'm not making a face, so quack, quack. <laughs> my teddy. <laughs> my teddy. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking it back. I'm coming, teddy. Piero, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Piero. Uh, uh, the the cat. The, the has gone. You mean the capsule? It's a mega disaster. Someone's stolen the capsule. I wonder what kind of. Egghead will play such a feather brain trick. Hmm? My teddy, someone stole my teddy. This is so unfair. Hey, I was going to say that. All that effort for nothing. We have to go find the capsule. Let's see if the thief left any clues. Better watch out, thief. We'll pluck your feathers. Let's go. <laughs> Looking for earthworms? <laughs> <laughs> what do you care heads want? I'm looking for my teddy. Your teddy? <laughs> <laughs> and what were you three up to last night? Oh, made by Hop's mum, it was too good. What's it to you? Oh, made by Hop's mum, it was too good. What's it to you, anyway? The capsule's been stolen, and we want to find out by who. My book of carrot recipes has been stolen? What? You, you gave, gave away, away your mum's recipe, recipe book? book? She said I could, and anyway, all this is your fault, Calimero. <laughs> <laughs> The capsule might have been my idea, but everybody went along with it. Besides, we all gave away something important, not just you. Oh, imagine how I feel. Without the recipe book, your mum's carrot stew will never be the same again, Hop. Oh, yes, it will. She knows it by heart. They're just as upset as we are. I don't think they took it. Huh? Oh! A key! The thief must have lost it while digging up the capsule. This key might help us catch the thief. It looks really old. Hey, let's go see Clement's uncle, Mr. Vielo. He would know where it came from. Hmm. 
This key belongs to a wind-up mechanism of some sort, a very old key. But now, what kind of object? Hmm, maybe a music box with a dancer on top. Like the one I gave Priscilla. Yes, Piero, but this key doesn't belong to me. Go see Mr. Argento, the watchmaker. Perhaps he can help you. Thanks, Mr. Viela. The watchmaker said it could belong to any kind of mechanical object. A watch, an alarm, a cuckoo clock, a music box, a, a car. A car? Did you say car, Calimero? Clement put one inside the time capsule, remember? Ah, of course. Check it out. Told you he'd be over at his Uncle Fielo's. That's why Mr. Fielo didn't mention anything about cars. Oh. Nice car you got here. I thought you put it in a time dispatcho. We, the investigators of the impossible, have got you. Uh -huh. Uh, I, I got two for my birthday, so that's why I put one in the capsule. Huh? Really? And how do we know you're telling the truth, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, no, the, the key doesn't fit. Hey, what's going on around here? The time capsule has disappeared. Oh, no. Did someone steal it? <laughs> well, hello, little children. Don't get into mischief, huh? <laughs> the mayor's acting pretty weird, huh? What's up with him? The mayor using tools? Don't you think that's sort of strange? Maybe he has something to open. Something that's very hard to open. A time capsule, perhaps. <laughs> My teddy. Quick, follow the mayor. Ever, ever watch where you're going, Toto? You don't own the street, you know. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, Mr. Mayor. I'll let you off this time. Let's follow him. So it was you! You are uh, the thief! But, but me? No, not at all. I, I, I have done nothing wrong. Oh, really? Whose are these tools, then? Uh, uh, well, they're just... They're, they're just for a... Um, uh, uh, Go on. Oh, all right. My watch fell into the capsule during the ceremony. My daddy! My daddy! My daddy! My daddy! My daddy! You know, children, this was my great-grandfather's watch. He gave it to me when I was a little boy. My coat pocket had a hole in it, and so I thought back to the last time I saw the watch and realized it must have fallen in there. Oh, look, it stopped again. <clears throat> Is this what you're looking for, Mr. Mayor? <laughs> Thank you, Calamero. You know what? All this gives me a great big idea. Why don't the grown-ups of Hatchington also put something in a capsule for future generations? Like your great-grandpa did by handing down his watch. A time capsule for grown-ups? Exactly, Mr. Mayor. Excellent idea, Calabella. I'll look into it tomorrow. And us will help you collect the objects. Right, Piero? Huh? huh? Piero? Right. OK, children, let's close the time capsule. This case is closed. <laughs> Piero, 
You missed everything. We reburied the capsule, and there's going to be another one for grown ups. Hmm. Why the long face this time? I'm sorry. Do you still miss your teddy? Uh, no, but I think I'm going to have to open it again. The, the, the capsule. What? You didn't put your teddy back in the capsule? Yeah! Oh. 